Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about thriving and dealing with challenging situations. In particular, when you have younger people or um, other people around you for dependent on you and they're looking to you for leadership. And this could be in your home, this could be in your, your workplace or in any other type of group or situation. When people are upended and they're thrown out of their regular routine and don't kid yourself, the people that are still working are going through the same things you are, they're just doing it in a little bit different way. People who are still working have increased workloads they have the same other restrictions that you do, and they're also not enjoying the part about being with their loved ones that you have the benefit of. You might not appreciate it right now. I don't know how many days you're in, in your situation, but is, everybody's in this boat together. So how do you deal with it is really important. If you have questions, Think of it, and some of you, many of you have been in a divorce situation or some type of a situation where maybe someone in the family was incarcerated or someone had a bankruptcy. You know, something that, some of those things are preventable and that should be your main concern. If you are feeling extra stress over the global situation because of decisions that you made or choices that you made or risks that you took, you should look at those issues because you can prevent those going forward. Could you have done things in a little bit different way? Are some of your reactions and some of your angst and some of your anxiety tied to decisions that you made that you now may feel guilty about when you're talking to your children or your spouse or your employees? We we all have responsibilities we all have free will and free choice and when we make choices there are consequences there's upsides and downsides and we have to weigh those and do the best that we can there's no sense judging yourself for what you did before because you're here now and part of this whole lesson is learning to be present sitting where you are accepting where you are and now thriving so the first step those around you who are looking to you for guidance does that mean you have to be strong and stoic no you can be honest you obviously want to temper the message according to the audience children and other people and pets everyone picks up your on your energy and if your energy is erratic and you're upset that's you don't have to say a word it's going to filter into your environment so you need to steady yourself and ground yourself and then when dealing with these situations be honest as it's appropriate to the person and have a discussion with them share with them that yes mommy and daddy are you know concerned because things are different we're staying home from work right now grandma and grandpa have moved in with us right now or the au pair has moved in with us or we're moving in with someone else for a temporary situation and we're doing different things around the house we're cooking that maybe you eat out a lot we are going through our belongings we're getting ready for spring garage sales we're looking at things that we have that maybe we don't need and maybe this time to pause has given us all that kind of a wake-up call that we are connected but we don't always have control over things so you need to ease up on yourself and that will help you communicate with those around you and ultimately thrive you are going to thrive out of this you might have a you might not want to go back to work after this if you're off work there are online courses right now. There are projects that you've had in the back of your mind for a long time. Get those out. There are children around you and others around you who have all kinds of talents, singing, dancing, artistic. Help bring those out. Instead of rushing around, you've got a time for a pause. And in this pause is where as the world has paused and is turning, I believe, 
turning in a direction that we've wanted for a very long time, it's not going to happen instantly. It may happen faster than we expect, but what changes have you wanted to make? What was your excuse for running back and forth and not being able to sit still, not being able to communicate with your family? You have that time now. Use it. Don't waste it. Don't wish it away. Everyone's in the same boat. You can use that. Look at the decisions that you've made. Look at the questions that your children are asking you. Look at the questions that you're asking yourself. Are you a happy individual? Now that you have yourself to spend some time with, are you a happy individual? Are you happy with the way things are going? Change it if you don't. If you don't like it, make your plan to change it. There's lots of resources available. Start exploring. This is free time. This is like a timeout. And your choice is, is it a timeout where you stick your nose in the corner and cry and whine about it? Or is it a timeout, like a side out, in volleyball, where you flip to the other side of the net? Is it a timeout, like in football, where you go to the sideline and you get more, you know, in encouragement from your coach, where you give encouragement to your team, whether it's your business, your family, or whomever? Is it a timeout because there was a foul ball thrown at you? Just like in baseball, you got to get out of the way. Sometimes the ball hits you, sometimes it flies up into the net. And you regroup and you go on. Use this time and you will thrive when you come out of this. Get your engine going. Look at your resources. Look at what you have done with your life so far. You've done some great things. Be proud of yourself. Everyone makes decisions. Some decisions are great. Some decisions are not great. No one has 100% accuracy. And it wouldn't be any fun if everything was laid out. So embrace the uncertainty. Be honest with those around you. Express your feelings. Connect with them. And then look at your life. Use the time out. You might look back at this time and be grateful. Hopefully your family is healthy and you're taking all the necessary precautions. But let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if this gave you something to think about, if you learned something. Leave any comments or questions below. What suggestions do you have for people that are having these issues? We are all connected and that's something that we really need to understand. And we need to sit where we are and be present to get through this time. But it doesn't mean you have to sit on your hands. It doesn't mean you have to sit there and mope. So I hope that you're not. Contact somebody you haven't talked to, to in a while. They might, they might need a friendly face. Um, have your kids write a letter to someone. FaceTime. And if it's really bad, turn off your phone and turn off TV. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe to see the other videos. And come back, see, and, and come back and see me next time, won't you? Thanks for watching.